the work that we we done is on a drug called alasclamol and uh, we happened to find this uh, drug in a very interesting manner and so we were we are mainly working on mitochondrial energy metabolism and there is one enzyme in mitochondria called cytochrome oxidase which requires copper for its activity and this enzyme is the main site where almost 90 percent of uh, air we breathe is used so it's the main site of oxygen consumption and respiration now this enzyme requires ox uh, copper to work without copper it doesn't work and mutations in, in various genes which deliver copper to this enzyme causes human mitochondrial disease these are fatal infantile disorders T children typically who get this mutation die very young within few months or a year of life and uh, we had we had uh, happened to identify one of those uh, gene where mutation caused this disease and so we developed uh, various genetic models to study this particular um, gene so uh, and disease and so we, we had a yeast model we had a human cell line model and so and so forth we uh, thought that let's identify compounds uh, or drugs which can um, bind copper and sort of bypass various regulations that are there in a multicellular organism and you can simply take copper bypass its transporters and deliver copper in a site specific manner hopefully to mitochondria hopefully to their enzyme cytochrome c oxidase and so we tested several compounds which are already previously known to bind to copper uh, and the, many of them are already used clinically and by testing several of those compounds we identified this drug alaskomol which was able to rescue this uh, respiratory defect of yeast cells which are deficient in this gene called CoA6 and so that was very exciting to us and I said well let's let's test if this works in other systems too and then we uh, collaborated with other labs in, in marine biological laboratories in, in Canada and so on and so forth and through every model we tried be it human cell line be it zebra fish be it the gene for CoA, the CoA6 gene or um, some other genes that are involved in copper uh, trafficking and transport inside the cells. In every case, uh, this drug was able to deliver copper to cytochrome oxidase. And we are surprised to find Alaskamol uh, is able to uh, bind copper uh, and deliver uh, to the cells at very non, uh, low concentrations. We are surprised at, uh, that it can work at sub nanomolar concentration, and we showed that. Uh, using yeast and a human cell line uh, cultures and also different mo other model organisms. So in this paper uh, we, are, uh, we are showing a lot of uh, efficacy studies as a proof of principle that this can be used as a uh, therapeutic agent for treating uh, patients with copper deficiency. Um, so this, there are like many copper uh, diseases like Menke's disease. Uh, which needs uh, copper to be delivered more efficiently and Alaskomol gives a new hope for treating uh, these patients uh, using just giving the drug. So, so this, this finding of, of course is an obvious implications for human health because uh, patients, uh, human patients with copper deficiency uh, such as this mitochondrial disease patients or also this um, uh, other patients of Menke's disease uh, uh, who have uh, deficiency in copper in different organs in the body, they, uh, this drug could, you know, could potentially be uh, therapeutic for, for uh, uh, patients with these conditions.